Chelmsford police responding to a domestic dispute say they had to resort to shooting a man when they ran out of options to corral him. That suspect still alive. Another officer was hurt as well. WBZ's Jim Smith is live in Chelmsford for us tonight. Jim? Well, Ken, all is quiet right now here in this Chelmsford neighborhood, but that was not the case this morning about 8 a.m. That's when police say they got a desperate call for help. Two ambulances. The male suspect is down. Alert and cautious, but he's down. Mayhem in Chelmsford on a Sunday morning. Police responding to this home on Clover Hill Drive after a 911 call about a domestic situation. The DA says the first officer to arrive found a woman in trouble. He observed an individual engaged in a struggle with a female. That female had sustained some injuries. She was pleading for help. At some point, they were unable to contain that male. They unsuccessfully used a taser. The police chief says the 35-year-old suspect was out of control. This individual was extremely aggressive and extremely violent. He did not obey any commands by the officers. With growing concern for the well-being of that female victim who was in close proximity to that male subject, officer discharged their firearm. They say one officer fired two shots, hitting that suspect in the leg and grazing his head. He's in serious condition but expected to survive. The woman was hurt during the struggle with the man but treated and released. Investigators say the suspect punched one officer and threatened cops with some objects. Some very big shards of glass as well as hammers. And tonight the district attorney says this suspect is known to police. In fact, the chief says his officers have been here to the house a number of times over the past six months. Once again, just to repeat, this guy's in serious condition tonight but is expected to survive. The woman was hurt, but she's been treated and released. An officer who allegedly was punched by the suspect, he also was treated but released. And the officer who fired the weapon, he will be placed on paid administrative leave. That is standard procedure. Live in Chelmsford tonight, Jim Smith, WBZ News.